bacteria has a kind of indigestion that favors the formation of worms infants vomits worms passes worms in stool calcarea so corrects the indigestion that worms no longer hatch out and symptoms disappears and we wonder what happens to the worms calcarea patient is weak sexually there is great relaxation and weakness sometimes the sexual desire is so much keep him awake all night but after indulgence there is weakness in back sweating and general weakness so he has to abstain him because of suffering woman similarly has great relaxation of the part unfit for reproduction uterus drags down and she feels wakefulness weakness and sweating after every coition menstrual period too soon too long lasting and too profuse after every 3 weeks woman has lycoria from one period to another it is profuse yellow thick and excoriating it causes itching burning and smarting of the parts hemorrhage from uterus from every excitement exertion overlifting or anything that disturbs the emotions fears shock inability to strain the muscles or to exert mentally or physically such is the state of relaxation and weakness threatened abortion weakness sweating and prostration after delivery weakness from nursing calcarea voice is that of painless hoarseness vocal cords are tired cannot endure strain a kind of paralytic weakness has much mucus in larynx with much irritation but it is a painless hoarseness burning and rawness that we find in belladonna and phosphorus it is not there in calcarea cough it is painless in belladonna it is very very painful and he cannot speak without pain in phosphorus also it is painful but in calcarea cough in spite of this much trouble there is no pain this may go from bad to worse with tubercular tendency much rattling of mucus rattling breathing and there is much mucus in trachea larynx chest bronchial tubes and much dyspnea from going upstairs and from exertion that we find in asthma weak chest weak heart and in threatened thysis and in chest trouble there is spitting of blood prolonged cough with copious expectoration even pus abscesses we have in threatening chest troubles beginning of emaciation pallor weakness and sensitive to cold air or cold damp weather every cold settles in chest and gradual emaciation in limbs and great tiredness it is the first stage of thysis and calcarea stops the patient from taking cold and there is general improvement calcarea has weak spine sensitive spine where the lime is deficient and he has deformity curvatures and calcarea is of great help in infants manifesting the weakness of spine let them lie flat and put on indicated remedy it is sometimes calcarea and in a little while all the knuckling will cease and child will be able to sit up calcarea has all rheumatic conditions possible to describe gouty affections gouty affections of small joints fingers toes 
and all these conditions are worse from cold cold air cold damp weather cold changes in weather calcarea has cold feet and damp feet calcarea patient always suffers from stiffness coldness and rheumatism rheumatism from cold changes in weather sleep greatly disturbed late going to sleep sometimes until 2 3 or 4 o'clock hanuman says that calcarea is indispensable and curative when catamenia appears few days before period and when it is considerable but if catamenia appears at regular time or few days later calcarea is never a remedy enough for today